Okay, this is a fun defensive play. We went through the zone run offensively, and this was Raheem Brock's sack in the second quarter. The score is 10 0 at this point. Max Hall is still in the game at quarterback. And as you walk through it, and a number of times you're going to hear me in these chalk talk sessions talk about the little things, the little details that make such a difference at the NFL level, and it plays itself out again. Raheem Brock comes free, and he comes free for a couple reasons. As, as we watch this play unfold, a couple things should jump out at you right away. Number one is the personnel on the field for the Seahawks. They did a great job defensively of mixing so many of their personnel groups. It was base, it was nickel, it was dime, it was beyond dime. It was a three-man front, a four-man front. Look at this four-man front they get into in a passing situation. There's less than three minutes before the half. They actually walk Aaron Curry inside, put his hand on the ground, and he's playing D-tackle which first and foremost tells these guys up front, and especially this right tackle, something's not right here. Something's a little different when I come and line up. What is 59 doing inside? And you know he is thinking, well, this is going to be a game. There's no way that 59 would line up and bull rush inside, so I'm going to set in a way expecting this. And as it turns out, that's exactly what does not happen. They actually use Curry inside. And as you see this play evolve, it helps free Raheem Brock up. Secondly, and I love this, it drove me nuts as a quarterback, and I know offensive linemen hated it. It's a little detail that you will see the Seahawk linebackers and Ken Norton do a great job with, and that's getting Lofa Tatupu, and in this case Jordan Babineau, right up near the line of scrimmage. And what that forces these interior linemen to do, and even if they're here in this gap, is it forces those linemen to make a decision. They have their protection, and if those guys come into the gap, and, and, and in this case right up in the gap, they've got to account for them. Even if it means slide protection or a man protection, many times they've got to make what's called a hard call, where those linemen will have to account for that immediate gap, and they've got to come down and secure that, and then get back to their man. And both Lofa and Jordan do a really good job of influencing these linemen to think they could be coming. So what Arizona does is they motion, and that actually bounces Lofa out. So he kind of comes and dances out of this because he's in a zone coverage. They run three deep, and they get to four under coverage eventually, and Jordan's going to come out and cover this zone. But he does a tremendous job of having an awareness of what's going on. He sees this motion come, and he knows he's got very little threat in his zone, so he hangs in here as long as possible before the snap to influence those linemen. And then eventually he pops out. And what you see when you watch this on film is you're going to see this right tackle because of A, this gap situation, B, Aaron Curry, and C, the deafening noise of you, the 12th man, hang in there just a half step. Just a half step, and that's all it takes for Raheem Brock to come off kill shot on the quarterback. And again, the little details making such a difference within the play.